Consumers pay an average of $2.70 for a single cup of plain old coffee, and a latte is going to run you around $3.78. So does buying an espresso machine for home use make some sense? Adam is here with the answer. How much espresso do you drink in here, <laughs> Bridget? You're going to have to drink a lot of shots of oh, espresso really? to make up the cost of one of these guys. Guess how much you can spend on a home espresso machine. Just guess. I don't know. $500. $8,000. That's more than I paid for my first car. <laughs> you and me both. Several cars in. I still paid less True. than $8,000. We decided to cap the cost for our testing at $1,000. We have six machines. None of them cost more than $1,000. All of these except for one include some means of grinding. There's a grinder built in, so mm -hmm. you load them with whole beans. They also have different adjustments so that you can customize the brew change the grind size, change the temperature, change the volume according to your taste. They all have a way of foaming milk so that you can have foam milk for lattes and cappuccinos. Let's start with these three here. They all suffered from a similar problem, which is that depending on the kind of beans testers loaded into the hopper, not enough beans would drop down into the grinder. And so what would happen is they either had to open up the hopper, push the beans down manually, or the espresso would get brewed with the beans that did drop down. And it wasn't really espresso, it was more like puddle water at that point. Not good at all. Not good at all for a thousand bucks, not acceptable. No. Moving on to that this money, machine. You totally wanted to make an espresso for me and tell me I'm pretty for a thousand bucks. <laughs> You're gorgeous, have another espresso. <laughs> This is the Nespresso Latissima, and this is the one that uses these pods instead of whole coffee beans. It was really easy to use. It was neat. You can see that it has a more compact footprint than mm -hmm. the others. It was also the least expensive one in the lineup, about $375. Now, it made a beautiful crema, which is that sort of thick brown foam mm -hmm. at the top of the espresso. That's emulsified aromatic oils. Mm. It's supposed to be flavorful. Best part. Oh, it's wonderful. What was underneath the crema, the espresso itself, not as great. Really? Yeah, a lot of tasters sort of judge this to be a little bit thin, a little lacking in body and flavor. Now, they were willing to put up with a subpar espresso because it was so easy to use and because it was the least expensive mm. one. So if you're not that picky, right. this is actually something worth considering. It's the Nespresso Latissima. Okay. Let's move down to this guy here. This one is the Breville Barista Express. This requires a little more user interaction. You have to actually tamp down the coffee grounds into the portafilter, position it, brew the coffee, empty the spent puck of coffee grounds out, rinse it, put it back in. You know, it sounds like a rigmarole, but it really wasn't that bad. It was easy to use, the manual was clear, and a lot of the testers kind of got into the routine. It didn't mm -hmm. take that long. And so for the DIY type, if you want to be involved in making your own espresso, if you want to learn a little bit about it, this one is not a bad one. It made okay. very good espresso. Right. Let's move down to this guy here. This is the Gaja Anima. This is the overall winner. This one was $690. I have an espresso for you to taste from this one. It was fully automatic. The espresso tasted great. It was simple to use, simple to see what was going on, mm. had easy adjustments. This is the one you want to bring home. That had a beautiful crema and really good coffee underneath. Well, there you go. If you'd like to be your own barista, then go out and buy the Gaja Anima automatic coffee machine, and it runs about $690. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>